Mason Gooding just put a little interesting nugget of information out into the world via Twitter. Let's get into it. What's your favorite scary movie? What's up, Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we're talking about Scream 6, talking specifically about Chad Meeks Martin and his in-canon sister, Jasmine Savoy Brown, I mean Mindy Meeks Martin, potentially being already confirmed to be in this next film. Now before I get into this, I'm going to need y'all to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Alrighty, so getting into this, uh, a good friend of mine, Kay on Twitter, at Top Girl Cassidy, make sure to follow her for some Scream 6 updates, recently put out a tweet expressing how, like a very hard felt tweet in fact talking about how scream 5 she was very really able to relate to those characters how much she really liked them and she wants that with scream 6 with this next movie coming up and mason gooding chad meeks martin himself replied to the tweet and said uh specifically we got you don't worry which is awesome so there's a few things we can take from that I, I would assume, yes, he's probably coming back. This is a continuation of the story from five and basically all of the movies prior to that. So I wouldn't be, I would, it would be kind of weird if he didn't come back for the sequel. I've had, a, I've seen a few people speculating that maybe they just like start fresh with new characters, but like that would just be so weird. There's so many things set up in five with the new characters, especially that if they don't continue into the next one, it's like, I feel like that's a lot of wasted potential and they're good characters. I really like Chad. Like uh, Chad is a fantastic character. Mason Gooding is just a great actor, really stole the show in some of his scenes and Jasmine Savoy Brown kind of also confirmed herself to be in Scream 6 as well all the way back when the announcement of a second of a, like a sequel basically is going to be happening she put out an Instagram post caption what if only one of us survives and it's a picture of, of course of her and Mason Gooding standing next to each other at the Scream 5 premiere so if I had to guess yes all of the returning characters are like semi confirmed like they're not really confirmed this is just you know like rumors this is just a guess but I would say yes all four of the new characters are probably probably coming back as well as Gail Weathers. Sydney Prescott is the one that's kind of up in the air right now about like if she'll return or not. I still don't know. With the Radio Silence guys recent comments saying that, oh yeah, it's still a Scream film essentially with <laughs> with or without these legacy characters. That's a little iffy. I don't know if I necessarily agree with them on that or not, especially if Sydney is not in this film. I definitely have this fear that it might be missing something without her. She is definitely a very integral part to the storyline and although maybe not at first Scream wasn't all about Sydney Prescott. It has slowly become that, I think. So it, it really would disappoint a lot of fans, I think, if Sydney Prescott didn't play even, like, a small role in this film. I talked about a little bit in the past how, like, I don't think they can make it all about Sydney again because we've already really told her story, and now to try and tell a new story with Sydney, I just feel like would be lackluster in comparison. So let's focus on the new characters, but have the side characters there to help us and be a little more than just, like, third act backup, like how they kind of were in Scream 5. Let's have them be part of the plot just not like the focus of the motive I guess is what I'm trying to say or as, especially not Sydney like if Sydney is the is what the killers are going after all again that's gonna sideline the new characters and render them kind of useless right I would rather the story focus on the new characters that being Sam Tara Chad and um, Mindy I would want it to focus on them a little more because then it would be like it would give them purpose to being there otherwise it'd be like well these are just new characters here to relate to a younger audience I want them to be a little more than that and we can develop these characters further in Scream 6 if we put a, a major focus on them and also have the legacy characters there as well. Although I, I have talked a little bit about how much I think it would be sick to have a Gail Weathers focused movie where it's like whoever the killer is is specifically targeting her and maybe some of the survivors of the past Ghostface killings as well. I think that would be sick. That would be a really cool movie and then to have Sidney Prescott come into it as, and like yeah she's technically the target of the motive but not the only reason that the killers are killing because that's just what it seems like for like the uh, four previous films uh, before Scream 5. It was all, the motive, motive always boiled down to we want to kill Sidney Prescott for whatever reason. I really appreciated Scream 5's motive for being different and didn't exactly boil down to that. It was something a little different. Some people think it's kind of cheesy. I appreciated it. I thought it was different. It was fun. It was a fun little uh, commentary on like fandom. It was cool. I don't want them to do the same thing in Scream 6 though. I want it to be a completely different motive. Maybe it doesn't necessarily even have to be something that connects to Scream 5. The Scream franchise has this like fetish with trying to make everything connect in some way but to me it's like 
I, I feel like not all these killers are getting together and talking about how they're going to go and like murder a group of people. I like that it's like every single time it's like separate people doing things for a, a totally different reason or, or motive. I think that's more interesting to me personally because then it's harder to guess who the killers are, what their motive is, why they're killed. Like it's it, that's so much more interesting to me if nothing connects, if everything is more mysterious, if it kind of just came out of the blue. That's scarier. I, 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 I don't know. That's how I feel about it. I would rather see that personally. But what do you guys think? Are you excited to see Chad? back in Scream 6. Like I said, not technically confirmed, but Mason Gooding has heavily implied it, as well as Jasmine Savoy Brown. And yeah, we'll probably get the Carpenter sisters in the next film too. But once again, not 100% confirmed at this time, just something that is heavily rumored, heavily implied. And I, I, yeah, another thing, I would be so shocked if they didn't show up in the next film. Like what? Why would you set up all those things with those characters? Why would you keep them alive, especially Chad, unless you were going to do something with this character moving forward with a sequel film? Like that just doesn't make any sense to me. You gotta, you gotta keep, if you're gonna keep them alive, yeah, have them in the next movie. Now, if he dies in the opening scene, totally different story. That that still might happen, but he's I think he's definitely going to be in Scream 6 in some kind of capacity. But yeah, we're probably going to lose one or maybe two of these legacy characters in the next film, which would be which will be sad, but kind of necessary for the, the mystery to work, I think. What do you guys think, though? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this new video where I just kind of rambled on about Scream 6. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates on Scream 6, Halloween Ends, Jordan Peele's Nope, and a plethora of other horror movies that are coming to your movie theaters sometime soon. Also, if you want to support this channel further, you can join my channel memberships or my Patreon page. It's literally the exact same thing wherever you want to do that. If you support me at the Ghostface tier, you get to see an extra video every single week. This week, I'm going to be reviewing Cemetery Man, as requested by Jason Dyer, and, and next week, you might be able to, like, pitch an idea towards me. Be like, hey, Jake, why don't you, like, review this movie that I really like from the 80s or something? And I'll be like, heck yeah, I'll add it to the list. So there you go. Support me there, and if you support me at some of the other higher tiers, too, you get to learn some more behind the scenes information about Red Right Hand and potentially join some secret exclusive live streams. So make sure to check all that out. Link for that is just like if you hit the join button or the Patreon link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always, don't forget to kill it out there y'all.